Sophia, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup tutorial today. So I don't really wear makeup. So I don't really wear makeup to school that much, but when I do, this is like what I'll do, like kind of what I'll do. So normally I'll do one day without makeup, one day with makeup, like I kind of alter it, you know? So like some days I'll look bad, some days I'll look good. It's just a weird combination. I don't have to impress anyone, no one even likes me, so it's fine, whatever. Oh, yeah, um, I have cornrows again. This time they look really good. But, um, Bella did them. I, it's just a summer thing, you know? It's Memorial Day weekend, might as well have a little fun with it, you know? So, so basically I always use my ring light because it's always like 6.30 in the morning and I can't see. So, yeah, I use that, but the lighting's great right now, so I don't need to use that. Also, I got a little bit tan yesterday, and I'm so excited about it. First, for eyebrows, I kind of already did my eyebrows this morning because I was bored. I don't know. So, I got them waxed yesterday. So, they already have, like, a really nice shape. So, basically, what I do is I use the e.l.f. one. I use this because I like to use that at the very start of the brow because it, like, fades really well because it's a bulkier pencil. So, I think it fades really well into the this the front area so it doesn't look as like sharp you know then for like right here well for um just like the end and the middle more the middle i don't really do the ends i use the l'oreal brow stylus definer so this one's a micro tip pencil so i feel like it like really gets like good in there and i also use my morphe spoolie so that's like what i like to do and I do that pretty much every day if I don't have fill in my eyebrows though I just kind of brush them out a little bit and then for face makeup I don't I maybe do this once every three weeks but if I want to feel fancy and I want to feel like really cute you know um I'll take my bronzer so I don't really know if this does anything but like it's fine whatever I really want to get the Hoola bronzer, but like, I don't know, whatever, it's fine. I love corners. So then I take my bronzer and we just go right there. I think it does add a little bit. And I don't like to do too much because I like to still have like my skin, like I feel like the skin's like imperfections, like it just kind of makes like your skin look better. The lighting is so good. I look so good in this lighting. So yeah, I just have a little bit of like that. I don't really add that much. And if I do have like a pimple or something, I might cover it with a little bit of foundation. But normally that doesn't even do anything. I really need to get a concealer, but like whatever, you know. And then I use my Estee Lauder blush. So you're supposed to use a blush brush. I don't really care. So we just use the same big brush. Oh, there's a hair. And we just take these colors and like just add a little bit like right like there. Does it do anything? Probably not. And then for highlight, one of my mom's friends got this by the brand Nomad. It's from like Ipsy or whatever. So um, thanks Kelly. Love ya. And I just take a little bit on this like little blush brush. That looks like a lot. And we just kind of go right there. It's kind of a lighter highlighter. I kind of want to get like a more like tannish one because I like to be nice and bronzed because we love that for me. Oh, also in the morning, I use my Mario Badescu spray. I use my Mario Badescu spray after I wash my face. If I wash my face in the morning, because my face wash, if you guys watched my last video, you know, it makes my face really, really dry. But I actually found like a way to get like past that so basically i'll use this toner and then this and then it like adds like the oil back to my face but not like oil but it makes it like shiny so it's not like it's not oily but it, like <laughs> i like to use an excessive amount of mario badescu spray i love it it's like an addiction does it do anything probably not but i like it so <laughs> normally i do this last but we'll just do it now so i always use my eos i like to use coconut milk right now i have so many i used to have a chapstick addiction uh yeah so i don't ever do color for my lips it's just my natural color love that for me i have no idea i say <laughs> everything is nothing 
I'm sorry that my mom's music's playing in the background. She's gardening and she likes to play music, so. And then for my eyelids, I don't normally do this, but since it is spring and I like to dress up a little bit and look cute because like summer's coming and I'm just in the vibes, you know, I might do a little bit of eyeshadow if I'm feeling risky, you know? So I like to use my Morphe 35O palette. Big creds to Bella for getting me this because I love her so much. It's the best palette I've ever had in my entire life. And yesterday when I was tanning, I kind of burnt my eyelids a little bit. Like, they're a little tender, but <laughs> I'll deal with it. It's fine. Normally, I'll take this white shade and use that as a base. I honestly don't use that much eyeshadow, too, because, like, I like to try to keep it good and, like, I don't really know what I'm saying. Ow. It, like, hurts. Like, on, like, my eye bone. <laughs> not even a thing but like you guys know what i mean like right like here like my eyeball <laughs> oh i can't handle myself so then we're gonna take this shade love this shade it's like a nice brown nude like tan shade it just makes me like feel like tan you know and then we put that in the outer corner and i don't really like to do too much because i don't like to be that extra Now that we have a little bit of color on our eyelids um oh we're not even done and then i like to take this little brush love it broski focus ew i don't look good that way so we're gonna take this i don't want to drop this or else i'm gonna die so we're gonna take that one i think it's called clear i like to just take a little bit because it's extremely shimmery and i put it on my brow bone and then I put a little bit in the inner corner. I'm not using that much today, but it's okay. So that's all I will do for my eyes. And then for eyelashes, I like to use, I've been doing the coconut oil for a month and I haven't seen any results. So, so I think my eyelash curler got this from Forever 21 eyelash curls make such a difference like honestly if you don't have one go get one because you need one so we just like to play with our eyelashes because i don't know i think they look so pretty curled like i just love curly lashes and then we take my maybelline total temptation mascara yes i say mascara because i'm a british girl getting I'm not even so we take that and I just put it on my lashes because yep. <laughs> and sometimes I'll get mascara on my eyelid love that for me but um I think it's so pretty I just love having pretty eyelashes I'm definitely gonna be the girl when I'm older to get eyelash extensions because like I just love violet, but like not super full, just like a little bit, you know. So now that we put a little bit of mascara on, wow, I already look older. Wow, makeup can really make like makeup can really just like make you like wow. So then we're gonna take my Mars spray. I'm just gonna get in my wet mascara, but it's okay. And then, to be fancy, maybe we'll take my Morphe thingy and just kind of like push up my eyelashes so they stay nice and curly. Is I going to do anything? No. But did I do it? Yes. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you stayed till the end, make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment down below what you normally do for your makeup. I don't really go too full out because I'm only in ninth grade. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon.